Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's episode, episode number five, we are going to be getting ourselves a new center back for the team, and we are going to be reviewing that player as well. So without any further ado, let's get into our lose your player review video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We are looking for new center back, new right backs, and new left back actually, so that we can build that 97 rated squad from 96 rated squad. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. Now first things first, I'll show you guys that squad that we have built so far. The Hitman Highland squad because this is the Hitman Highland uh, RTG series. So this is how the squad is looking so far. We have not sent Highland to level 90 yet because I am still waiting for a good video to send him to level 90 and upgrade a few players as well. So hopefully we'll be doing the upgrade video soon. Hopefully can get a 97 rated squad soon. So this is how the squad looks guys as of now we did get Marquez in our recent pack opening. Make sure you guys go check that out insane pack opening. I think that's the best pack opening on this channel ever and we also got Torre in our, uh, from the market. A good center defending midfielder CDM and then we have a good squad guys. If you guys look at the squad we have a pretty decent squad. Now I can send easily around six to seven, uh, seven people in the squad from 96 to 97 or from 95 to 96 i mean it depends who, who you're sending uh, but apart from that the team is looking really nice and spicy so we are gonna go to the exchange part and we're gonna go to lose your i have already completed five of this i'm not gonna bore you guys by telling what is there in each token what you have to complete but the different thing is usually uh in team of the year i don't know how many of you remember if you guys remember in team of the year we had to complete eight we had to complete eight look at this eight you guys see the number right it says eight yeah, even for um, for everybody for all the three exchanges we had to complete eight i think for waller also is eight or seven or something so even for waller it is eight but for lucio 93 rated center back you have to do only six of this so i think that is a better uh, bargain when it comes to that so let us complete this completely and then get our player and do the player player review now i don't know how i'm gonna be do doing the player review when it comes to in game i have no clue how i'm gonna do that but we will do something we will play a game and see how his defending is i guess i don't know uh now looking at the player himself we have got the player let us go to the squad and add him first where is he where is he lucio now the 97 rated uh, play, uh, card for this lucio is there right now but i'm not that lucky to pack him so i hope one of you guys who's watching has packed him already let me know in the comment section now you guys can see the difference right look at that saliba he was actually at 87 when i got him he got plus three upgrade and i upgraded him thrice and i have what is i think i maxed him out to 20 or no actually he's uh he's max maxed out i think he's max maxed out i can't even rank him up anymore yeah i can't even rank him up anymore and i haven't max leveled him up so this is how the stats looks as of now 99 pace for saliba uh, 118 defending 113 physical 92 dribbling 89 passing all that good stuff now what we're going to be doing is we're going to send saliba out and then we're going to concentrate on lucio first we'll look at the stats without any upgrades then we'll upgrade him once and then we'll see how the stats looks then is this card worth it now he has 84 pace which is always good for a defender or center back especially because i love good pace filled defenders because once you lose the ball in front when they are, when the opposition is trying to counter attack you need your players to go back to the position in an instant so i think 84 pace is good it's not great it's not like uh, the 95 rated rudiger card who has 87 or 88 pace something like that that is the ideal card for me but i don't know if he'll pack him i don't know if he'll pack him i have opened a few ramadan packs after doing the video but i've not packed him yet but let's look at uh, his defending 95 97 defending and 95 physical i think that is not bad now if we level him up his physical goes to 100 his defending goes to 102 
now and his pace goes to 88 as well so i think let, let me just say the verdict right away guys i think this card is really good i think if you are on a budget and you don't have enough FIFA fc coins stored up in this game i think you'll definitely have enough players to put in the squad exchange and then you'll be able to get a 93 rated center back now those who have started playing fifa mobile or fc mobile uh, just now make sure you guys play a lot of the games and keep getting packs and open packs and stuff and then save a lot of gems and then open packs from the store as well make sure you guys go open that 800 gems pack or 1250 gems pack and then you guys will be able to get a lot of fodder cards which you won't use but you'll feel like oh i am happy that i got this and you'll be able to put them in spcs like this or in exchanges like this and get the players that i'm getting i'm able to get i am also a free to play player i've been playing since the release of fc mobile i was playing even in fifa mobile but as soon I, ever since fc mobile was announced and ever since it got the upgrade i have been grinding my brain cells off so that's how i'm able to get all these players you guys might be thinking i am putting money into this i have not invested one single penny into this game but i am able to get build a 96 rated squad still so i think you guys also if you guys are really into this game i think you guys will be able to build a classy squad i'm not even joking about this now without any further ado let us look at his uh, attributes and traits and all that good stuff now he has 73 shooting that is what was surprising for me a good shooting he has 89 shot par guys he has 89 shot par and look at his passing and when you look at his passing right he has 86 short pass and then he has 70 crossing 80 long pass that is actually not bad you know that is actually not bad he has 95 physical he has 98 strength 94 aggression 94 jumping 99 heading accuracy so you can use him to score goals from the corners i guess because he has 99 heading and he has 92 jumping he has three star weak foot that is one thing i am not that thrilled about he has only three star skill move skill move i'll be honest i don't care about even if he has even if a player has one star skill move i really don't care about that but weak foot is something that i usually look at but he's a defender why would i want to want him to have a good weak foot i don't know but it just looks nice when it says four star or five star and he has a higher work rate in defense obviously he is a defending player if he's a defensive player and he has power header and leadership as traits guys he has dives into tackle as well so when you're trying to defend he'll be able to you know when you do the dive the uh, diving thing slight tackling i think you'll be able to get the ball a bit better and commit less fouls i think that's how it is power driven free kick you can do free kick with him what is this free kick accuracy is that there in this game does it show the stats for free kick no, he, he has 83 in free kick he has 75 in long shot he has 9, 89 in short par i think that is good for a defender i'm actually surprised that he has all this i mean power header is something we will hopefully try but yeah i think this is something good guys i'm gonna train him to level 10 hopefully and we'll see how he goes so these are the stats after level 1 max i mean rank 1 max and then rank him up once i have been saving but i am going to use it for the purpose of this video so that you guys get a better understanding of how the player is and whether you should go ahead and get him now uh, i would say definitely go get him i'll i actually uh, think this is a better thing i am going to be boosting his defense out of this world so let us go do i have enough players yes i have enough players okay so this is how the card looks after max rank i mean max level up for rank 2 he has 91 pace he has 111 defending he has 106 physical with 89 dribbling and if you guys look at the defense it has increased a lot plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 for three things which is marking stand tackling and awareness because of us uh, we had applied those uh, skill points over there so that is one reason he has got those boosts now let us go and play some random game and see you know what i'm gonna just go over to icon journey and play this yeah sure why not open we'll just play this is this game is to just show you guys if he is a good defender if he is good at passing 
because I'm pretty sure I need to play a whole game and show you guys the full game to see how he is actually at defense but I don't think you guys are interested in that and I don't think I want to show you all that uh, hassle you know you just are gonna look at whether his passing is good from the back and whether his long pass is good his short pass was decent long pass I actually aimed somewhere but it went to a different player I think that is not bad he has around he has 91 pace right pace is not bad actually pace is not at all bad now we need to somehow get a we need to somehow get a corner okay I have given the ball away we should somehow try to wait it we come to lose but I feel like our uh, defense and our midfield only will win the ball Lucio is more like an anchor you guys I hope you guys saw the evolution video that I did in FC24 the the video which was released yesterday I did something around uh, Varan and I think that is how I'm gonna be using Lucio as well in this uh, squad right now it's like more of an anchor you know stick to that position don't push much in front and then hold that position in front of uh, behind the CDM and in front of the goalie that that spot is where I feel like Lucio will be playing for the squad but yeah apart from that I think this player is really good especially for those who don't have uh, you know enough what do you call that coins to sit and grind out oh my god I thought this goalie is gonna push it out apparently we are scoring with the, scoring with Highland a lot so Highland is actually a crazy player guys crazy crazy player he's so underrated because uh, he's not got enough chances in real life and then he's been injured as well what do I do I am trying to score I mean I'm trying to shoot from outside the box so that the goalie pushes it and then we get a header but I think seeing how the heading stats are and how his jumping uh, accuracy and all that heading accuracy and how his jumping is I feel like he'll be someone good I feel like he'll be at the level of Antonio Rudiger not gonna lie ah first ever actual tackle that Lucio has done he is actually not bad guys I'm not gonna lie it might be because we are playing in a you know we're playing against a lower rated opponent but I think the Lucio card a lot of you guys will really enjoy especially in head-to-head -head when you guys are playing and now make sure you guys go check that out if you guys are able to complete the exchanges make sure you guys do it because it is a really good card you guys got, saw the stats and the pace is really good the short pass is really good long pass I need to play a little bit more and I let you guys know in the next player review how he actually is uh, but all that good stuff but yeah I think I think so far half time has been completed he has a good pace on him he has good defensive awareness he doesn't push too much in the front uh, if you guys take him to the front and come he'll be able to go back to his position really quick because of his pace and because of his awareness of his defensive position and he'll be able to do a good slide tackle and a decent stand tackle as well now I think even if I try to do a heading test by trying to get a free kick or I mean a corner or something I don't think we'll be able to see it quite well because there are a lot of players in this squad that I'm using right now have who have power header as that where is he he has see look at that he has returned back to his position so well we didn't even control him we are looking out for him so that he can get a goal but he has returned to his position so well and on time that we don't even have to care about that much but yeah so i'm telling you guys this is definitely a good card don't sleep on it make sure you guys grind out and save enough players to go get the card but also at the same time save a few players as well because a lot of exchanges like this are coming your way i'm pretty sure of it and there's a new event also coming out soon uh, i don't know if the, by the time this video goes out maybe the event is already out i have no clue but yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode hope you guys enjoy this one make sure you guys leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought of the player if you already are using him let me know if you guys have the 97 rated player as well i am curious and i'll see you guys in the next episode until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye